All right, uh, time for the next talk. Let's work on Zbigniew. Uh, hi. Uh, this is going to be a very short talk. Um, it's, uh, so I, my name is Zbyszek, uh, and I work on Systemd in Red Hat. And um, this talk is about something kind of similar to, to Leonard's talk, that uh, where uh, the user space needs a little bit of help from the kernel to do things the right way. Uh, and we are, uh, in uh, this case, we are 90% of the way there, but just some, some missing, uh, some bits are missing to, to have the full thing working. So, uh, when we, uh, this was even, even mentioned uh, also in, in the previous talk, it's uh, when we execute uh, something from disk, uh, we find an executable to, um, to launch. Uh, so systemd does this all the time, right, for example. Uh, we, we look at the executable, uh, and then uh, we spawn it by, by, by path again. Uh, so uh, it is, in principle, possible that somebody uh, sub, uh, changes the binary on disk uh, in, in between the inspection and the execution. Uh, so we would like to look at, uh, when we inspect the executable, we would like to look at, I don't know, the, um, uh, the permissions on the file and uh, uh, for, for security reasons, but maybe also on other, for other things. Uh, in systemd, we added this uh, functionality to, uh, well, not uh, in the systemd project, the functionality to inject uh, information about a package for which a given binary was uh, compiled. So we can inspect uh, a binary and, for example, before we execute it, we could record the package version from which this binary came. But if we do this and the upgrade process happens in the background, we could actually, well, record stale information. So we would like to use a file descriptor to, uh, to, to spawn the binary. And we have... Uh, fxxv, which actually map, maps to execv at, uh, and so we would like to replace the execution by path with execution by uh, a file descriptor uh, that, uh, well, uh, maps to the, uh, to the path that we previously inspected. And yes, we can do that, systemd has code to do that, but it doesn't work as expected because of the following problem. Uh, well, you launch the, the executable, and uh, things like pgrep don't work. Uh, the, 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 the process is there. It looks OK, but if you look at the com value of the, of the process, uh, it contains the file descriptor number. Uh, so uh, yeah. it should say sleep here. But It should say sleep, but it says four, and uh, the four <laughs> is particularly <laughs> offensive because it's the file descriptor of the calling process. So by the time this process is actually called, this file descriptor has already been closed because it was open with FD, uh, with all clo exec. So this is a, a number that is not useful and it's completely meaningless to the, to the process that has this number as its name. And, um, uh, if I think if we fix that, we can use uh, fxxv uh, to, to spawn binaries. So uh, the, uh, uh, the ask is for the kernel to allow us to uh, set com uh, in some way, whatever arbitrary way, uh, before execution. Um, it can already be set after execution, so the, the, like we could go over every binary and fix it to do it after execution, but, uh, well, that's hard. Uh, so we, I mean, we, we, realistically, we cannot do that, so the only way is to, to have uh, the caller uh, do some what, additional step before execution to, to set the com value. And, uh, well, I hope that, um, uh, there are some ideas how to do that, and it will be a trivial patch in the kernel. Anybody? Yes. 
Maybe I misunderstood the problem. Like, why is it better that they can do it before rather than after? Like, well, it, after, so we, we transitioned from, let's say, from systemd code to, to Python. And Python would need to know that it was called by systemd in a special way and actually needs to fix up the execution. So it's, uh, I mean, we, we cannot patch every binary out there to, to support being called in a different way. And actually, uh, some binaries look at their proxlfexe to decide like what to do. So even some binaries don't know what it's to set it to. Um, I wonder, can you just have another proc PRCTL that's you know set after exe or like after exec? Um, there's like some precedent for this. Like App Armor does this. Uh, you just keep the string around and then set it afterwards. You know, interfaces like this are always a little bit icky with multi-threaded uh, process, right? Like, because, yeah, you set it and then some other process get weird comms fields set. So, so maybe a crazy idea. We just started in glibc PID, FDS, spawn. Can we maybe add a new uh, POSIX spawn uh, set attribute for this, and then have glibc set this after they fork the process, but before they exec? Because we use uh, PIDFD as spawn now to spawn so processes. So basically you're saying the... that if we link to uh, not glibc but something else, uh, new lib, and then it doesn't work, and then we yes. do a whack-a-mole? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I guess you can uh, stop uh, the executing child via ptrace on uh, exit of uh, execv, and then you can fix up the com. At least, well, it will be race free, but it's a hack. So, uh, uh, I mean, back to the upstart protocol, right? <laughs> but it will actually, uh, yes, uh, it's enticing, but. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe dynamic linker can do this early. It actually dynamic linker actually executes a lot, a lot of instructions before the, the actual main of the executable is is started. So it can do it can it would be able to do a simple thing like this. But set it to what? Yeah. Triggered by what? Uh, so how to how to pass this information to? Well, it should be a way. <laughs> Not necessarily magic. Not necessarily magic. Mm. Other ideas. Yeah, I mean, but please note that the. Uh, I mean, we can figure stuff out like on the user space side, but this, the current thing that the kernel sets is just completely pointless. It's like an implementation accident that doesn't, it's, not, it's just not, 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 it's a random number essentially. Uh, well, it's like not very random, but a bit random, right? Yeah, so which subsystem of the kernel does this? I, I have no idea. Do we have a person in the room is I, the question. I don't know. It's exec. Uh, it's it's, it's um, well case in that case, case in that case. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I've, the one suggestion that you had was like uh, if you do add empty path to somehow stuff it into the path argument or have some sort of special flag. I find all of that pretty distasteful. Uh, to be honest, it feels very hacky. Um, so. The PR cuddle ways, like having a new special PR cuddle, might be the best thing, but. Um, so, uh, PR set name lets you set like an arbitrary string. Do you need the string to be arbitrary, or is it. Because the thing I'm wondering is, like, if it was the case that the com you would get, I mean, I think the PR cuddle in theory would be nicer because it's more generic, but if it was just the case that, like, rather than getting the number, you get. Equivalently, what Proxelf XE would give you in COM? I would be perfectly happy with that, yes. Okay. I mean, it will sol solve our case. Okay. 
So do we have a deal then? <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to uh, point out that like, if you're going to exec anyway, you're going to destroy all your threads. So actually, it doesn't matter if the API yeah, is thread safe thread or not. <laughs> Mm. So this is not going to work because true and false, like these binaries, are are hard links um, to like are siblings to each other, like depending on distro and implementation. And basically, the exa one will always so, show to the final one, so that it basically would mean you you can start false and it will show up as true. Ah uh, yes yes yes. Prot self prot self exa actually yes yes yes. Uh, I take back what I. Oh said. by the way. I take back the earlier thing I said about the threading. It doesn't matter, of course, because we're talking about exec, right? Like, hopefully, like, I mean, if you do exec in a threaded application, you destroy everything anyway, so it's fine if we uh, have one field already set up because, yeah, you, this, this is not something that's going to happen, right? In case of exec, you will already have forked or you will already have closed all your threads, right? Have you got enough yeah, yeah. So, this? So um, it cannot be to set like proc self exe, but it should be set like argv uh, zero. Uh, um, um, uh, it, it could be set to. Yeah, but that's also weird because argv zero usually in many cases contains the full pass, right? So then the kernel would have to look for a slash and then cut off the prefix and things like that. It would be kind of magic then. So, but I mean, Something I wanted to say is like, uh, I think there was a misdesign in the system call, right? Like it was an omission in the system call. So maybe uh, this is like, yeah, the system call should just be fixed so that there's x, z, uh, v, e, at two or something. And uh, it's the same one as the current one, which just gets a flag parameter and an additional structure, and then we can add whatever the fuck we want into that structure. Well, also, we, so we have x, z, v, at with at empty path. Uh, uh, where is the? Here we, we could uh, okay. It already has a flag. We could add another flag and then you know, like ignore the ignore and put this here in the in this. Well, yeah. that is different every other right. But but then it would be different to like every other ad syscall because like I mean I mean you can have arguments about the ad empty path design, but like I mean. But I like that idea. Yeah, I, that's the, better than PRC. Well, the, th the thing I was going to say, yeah, hang on, hang on. The, the thing I was going to say, sorry for the argv thing, is that um, the kernel, I mean, for com, we, it already has to pause it, right? Like, it's, it, that's already a thing it has yeah, to do. Exactly. So, like, if the issue is that, I mean, to, from my perspective, I think that if we're going to say, well, personally, I think it'd be better if we just fix this for everyone. And, like, as you said, it makes no sense to get the number. Um, and yeah, you're right. The proc self-exe thing wouldn't work. But again, if argv zero is, I mean, personally, given that proc command line, a proc self-cmd line is set to argv, like, why would it not also be the same for com? That's my thing. That's my guess. Um, so I quickly wanted to say that I kind of like the idea of using, uh, like, overloading the, the second thing, because ultimately, this is exactly where com is initialized from, right? Like, so if you actually do specify something there, that is what com's going to be. So it kind of makes sense to say that if you do ATM to pass and add an extra flag, um, that we directly, like we only use it for com, that sounds very natural to me, actually. It sounds natural to you because you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat the, the comment for the audience. <laughs> I said it, it sounds natural to you because you want it. I think, uh, I, I keep wondering, uh, wasn't there some sort of, we recently changed exec behavior or exec via behavior because it's not legal to pass argv0 as null. And when that is the, because then you can trip over other user space programs that re rely on that not being null. So we, I think we silently behind now fill in some random string when that happens. And I wonder if we can make use of that, like when you pass argv0 as null and you use exactv at I don't know. I know it's so all, it's so all you're saying ugly that to me. Instead of adding a new flag, we should put a string starting with zero and then magic value after the zero and then another zero. Sexy. <laughs> I mean, I I just don't. Maybe I'm missing something. Like, what is the problem with just making argv zero 
be the source for calm. I mean, like, I understand, like, it's different to the way that it's done without an antipath, but the whole point is that antipath is special in that way. Like, um, but, the have to mangle the thing, then. Uh, but they, I mean, but it already does that. Like, if you pass a full path in exec VE, uh, it, you, you, it already mangles it, right? The calm is already mangled in that case, right? Like, it's, a, it's, it's the same. Well, I don't know. I, I personally find it weird. Like, argv is like this really user-controlled string, and you can basically pass anything you ever wanted there. And it sounds really weird to me that this user-controlled thing that where you can pass um, with the weirdest shit, basically, like uh, I don't know, uh, escape characters and whatnot, right? And and then you you mangle that and and and, and parse off everything out before the first slash. That sounds so strange to me. Yeah, but com is already user controlled. You can set it with set name. Like it's it. it I but maybe it's just me, but I don't see the difference between com and CMD line. Like it's the. I mean, obviously they're different, but like it, the conceptually, what's the distinction, right? Like, it, it seems like it, like wait, if you. Put, it's about initialization, right? <laughs> like I think conceptually the difference is what, initialization, right? Like one is initialized by the kernel, the other one is initialized by the by user space, and suddenly, we, yeah, I don't know. Any other takes? So I don't know. Just to 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 like summarize, uh, I I think that it doesn't really matter for 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 the user space side which option is used, but. To, like the, we are ninety eight percent of the way there. The, like systemd has the code to do this for the last two years, and like, except we cannot enable it because uh, well, this 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 stupid thing is missing. So one thing I want to say very quickly about the argv thing is if we did use argv, then this would fix all programs that do that, as opposed to having to update every program to do it. Right. Yeah. That's that's at least one benefit over the um, functal. LP So then, are we going to do that? <laughs> the file descriptor that you're using is the file descriptor of a regular executable. It's not some shit like proc, self, fd, something. Yeah, it's the regular, uh, regular file descriptor for the regular file. Yeah, but I mean, then why can't we change it internally to do something with dpath? No, but the problem is that the, the problem is like BusyBox, where everything is a symlink, and so if you if you use dpath, then yeah, exactly, yeah. It's not the problem because, uh, you get a it's not a problem with uh, multi uh, uh, well with hard link executables because uh, you you get this information from argv zero. And no one uses com. It uses it's used only for PS and the, the like system inspection stuff. So basically, uh, it doesn't break anything. Like uh, the the behavior is just weird and uh, well makes system less usable. Uh, uh, the well, having com uh, set to nonsense when you run uh, execv at with uh, zero uh, path, with empty path. Because well, you you pass the information about uh, like uh, what uh, command to execute via argv zero. So I mean, I I guess like the the, the best approach to fault kernels to try to like do some hack like with ptrace or whatever. I I like ptrace because well I propose it. But anyway, uh, but for neural kernels I think that well your idea about like uh, supplying com via the second argument is the best. Well, an additional flag, because well, no one cares about com in in that sense I guess. Because well it's 16 symbols anyway, and so on. I wouldn't be so sure, by the way, if they really don't care, because you know, for shell scripts, like for interpreters, like argv um, um, is going to be the, like the original command line, right? And com's going to tell you about the interpreter, and there are some interpreters which enable 
uh, I think Z shell, for example, has this this born shell compatibility mode that it looks uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, into com. So uh, I don't think it's you're right. I don't I, I can't I don't have proof, but I, I'm pretty sure there's some some logic where people like interpreters look at uh, how they're called and behave differently. Rabbit is like, does Z shell check that com is Z shell, or is it just, it's just checking that arg v is not? I mean, like, I get like in theory, I guess something could break, but I'm just I'm just wondering, is like, is it um, like if if I'm if I'm the author of Z shell, I'm not going to be like, oh, is the program currently running Z shell? Like, I, I don't see. Maybe yeah. someone someone does that, but I don't, like I understand checking arg zero. It, it, but it looks at arg v zero, I believe. Yeah. Yes. I mean, all shells do that. Right, but like, so I guess the thing with the argv thing is that like, if if com was wrong, so it's like if you're running Z shell, but like com is bash, is that actually going to cause a problem or not? Is the thing I'm wondering. It it, it, it causes problem in a in a different uh, place. Wait, but uh, wait, 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 we have it. Oh. Where is it? Uh, yeah, I think that the com is mainly used by kernel. Because it's first, it's limited to 16 bytes, or, so it generally cannot work if uh, someone wants to decide on that. And secondly, I think the purpose is so that the kernel has a copy of a string that it can use for its purposes, and it doesn't have to reach out to the user space memory. Well, it's also used by uh, pgrep and other things, right? It's uh, I, like different things look at different fields, but it's it's not just the kernel. It's the user space certainly looks at it too. Yeah, but okay. So it's for some debugging, or it's not for like deciding uh, some logic, or no, no. So so pgrep, uh, for example, looks at com, and it's com. It's not looking at a CMD line. Pgrep, pkill. Uh, I mean, I'm surprised how because I was running on my sys laptop with a, with this code enabled for a while, and most things work, but it's just, it's just some select things that don't work enough to be annoying. But okay, so uh, okay, so I just wanted to point out that it's. It's limited, and uh, yeah, I thought that the purpose is for the kernel, that it has the copy of the string. Yes, yes, I think it, the kernel makes a copy. Um. Five minutes warning. Yeah, I think, I think we should wrap this up. I just, you know, it's a plea for help from my side, so. Uh. All right. All right, well, then, thank you very much, Dmitry.